Now, the topic of discussion today is, um, I saw it posted, I see it posted a lot. Why do men waste women's time after they, after they, uh, have, after they had tried so hard to get them? After they spent so much time trying to get them. Okay, so why do women not why do women why do men waste women's time after they have spent so much time trying to get that woman? Okay, now that we got that part out of the way, that took a little second to get. Um there is a valid but not necessarily acceptable reason for this. Um but it's pretty simple and i don't know if women don't get it or understand that process um but i'm gonna try and make y'all understand or have y'all understand anyway right so let's say this man has an interest in this woman right and initially she has no interest in him right and um he continues to pursue, continues to pursue. His motives are genuine. His feelings are genuine. He really, really wants this woman. And it takes her somewhere around, let's just throw a number out there. Let's, let's say, I don't know, five, six months of him continuously chasing her and her continuously turning this man down. After about five or six months, she starts to see some type of attraction within this man, right? And now she gets to, you know, um, returning the interest that he was initially giving her. But not too long after they start dating, or even, you know, maybe in some time span down the road where, they, uh, where they're dating or whatever, he, like messes up and it causes this big uproar she's pissed he doesn't know how to tell her or probably wouldn't tell her um even if he did know how to say most dudes just don't know um because people don't think into it enough but that's the reason that i'm here let me make this very clear men are impatient as they come, right? Men can be very fucking impatient. We're simple. We know what we like. We know what we want. Once we start pursuing that thing, in our minds, it should not take forever for us to accomplish this. But outside of our mind, but within, let's just call it our DNA for, for sake of uh, lack of better terminology right now. So it's in our DNA to win, right? Um, people know that it is, <clears throat> it's in the male's DNA to pursue, right? So since it's in the male's DNA to pursue, even though he's gotten to a point of not wanting this lady as much, he still feels it necessary to continue to pursue her. Some people may find this stupid, but you have to understand the male anatomy in order to understand the start process. And, and again, like I said, a lot of dudes don't necessarily, they can't say what I'm saying because they don't think the way that I think about it. I go into details with this shit when I get to thinking. But anyway, the, the internal DNA basically tells this man that even though she's not interested, maybe don't pursue her as hard, right? But if she does give you the opportunity, take it. Completely negating the fact that his feelings went from here to here over those course of months. Now, if she had taken him up on his offer within a timely manner, then there's a very good possibility that that relationship would last longer, it would be stronger, so forth and so on. But for some reason, which I can't readily identify, it seems to be a thing with a lot of women where they will make you wait for general conversation. Let's, 
we're not even going to go into the rest of the shit. Let's say general conversation before they feel like they're interested in you enough. Now, let's pause that right there. T, time out. Nobody wants to be second place. Nobody. I don't care who you are. You do not want to be second place. The subconscious mind knows that there is no way in this very small chance, but since there's such a small chance of it being this way, let's just go with no way the subconscious mind feels like there is absolutely no way that this entire time that she's been ignoring me, that she's not dealing with somebody else or not chasing somebody else. Because women tend to chase men too. And it's a little more subtle, but they'll continue to keep themselves available for the dude that they're actually interested in. Now, let's go back. I just said, nobody likes to be second. I don't care who you are. So, if said woman was dealing with or trying to get the attention of this one dude, while this other dude was trying to get her attention, then she decides that she now wants this man's attention. He may not realize this like in a conscious mind, but again, subconsciously, he don't even know why he feels this way, but subconsciously he feels like he was a second pick. That tends to end at a, eat at a person. I don't care. I don't care how... Uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Uh, confident you are in yourself. How comfortable you are with yourself. Don't nobody want to. Don't nobody want to feel like that. And it doesn't. It doesn't matter how much you think of yourself. If you were in a situation and it was actually face to face, instead of not knowing if it was a face to face situation where you saw somebody chasing somebody else, but you wanted that person who was doing the chasing. You're not, if they want to stop in their tracks and turn around and be like, all right, I want you now. You're going to be pissed. Like, get the fuck out of here, yo. Like, ain't no way in the fuck. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to, bro? Like, fuck that. So, that's what I'm saying. When it comes to stuff like this, women take a long time to find a general interest in a man that is generally interested in them first. Now, let's dig into something a little off subject but it plays right into this thing. So we're covering two topics tonight. Um, the women that want men to, quote unquote, apply pressure. And continue to apply pressure. This is a problem. This is a stupid mind state. And let me explain to you why this is a stupid fucking mind state. The women that want men to uh, apply pressure does not live the life of a man. Very fucking simple. You do not live the life of a man. Again, these two sub subjects tie into each other. If you want this man to pursue you, if it's in the nature of, a, of the, the man to do the pursuing, that means... That if you're not giving him the time of day, he's going to have to put that energy into somebody else. I don't know if I'm losing y'all with this. Men are men. We have to exert a shit ton of fucking energy in order to get women these days. We're not talking about... Back in the day when it was the 40s and 50s and it was a little bit more simple these days or those days in order to get, you know, a woman to notice you or want to be with you or whatever, you know, that whole small town shit. We live in a really big fucking world controlled by social fucking media. So knowing that because we have to deal with such shit in this world, knowing that there's so many different options for so many different people out there. It becomes bullshit to us. It's, it's fucking exhausting. So if I got to go and put my energy into this one woman, this woman don't want me. I've exhausted two months putting my energy, applying pressure into this woman, and it does not go as I would like for it to go. I don't, I don't get the outcome 
that I feel I deserve in this situation because she's not interested in me. Now, I have to muster up some more energy. If I see another woman that I could be interested in, apply pressure to that one. That's more energy. That's another two months of wasted time, right? Just let's just say because a lot of let's just say a lot of our batting averages are below 500. And that means that we're not always successful in getting the woman's attention that we so desire. Now, knowing this, because we know this, we know that females have a specific type of male that they want. Usually, this is the case. Most women know exactly what man they want. Let me say that one more time for the ones that didn't catch it. Most women know exactly what man they want. But they attract a bunch of different other dudes. Again, social media is a motherfucker. So since they attract these bunches of dudes, while their focus is on that one dude, because usually everybody has that one person that they would completely be interested in, in dealing with. Um, but the difference between men and women is that 98% of women don't feel the need to pursue a man. They don't feel the need to um, initiate conversation with a person that they like. 98% of them, right? While just about 99% of men have to initiate conversation, be the one that does the pursuing and everything else in between. So women got these masses of men <laughs> flocking toward them, while men have these masses of women <laughs> running away from them. <laughs> Look, bro, this world is so, so fucking tough, my nigga, like, and I'm not talking about on a, I just want to fuck scale. I'm talking about Genuine relationship possibilities. <laughs> this is the way that this shit goes. So, knowing that the masses of men have these millions of women running away from them, but they're consistently exerting energy to this female or that female and this female, trying to apply pressure to her so she can understand that I genuinely want you it's exhausting. As a man, I am speaking from very first-hand experience. The shit is fucking exhausting, women. Like, please understand that every time we get turned around, turned down, look, we got to start all the way over from square one with, with a whole different female that we're, we don't know shit about. While... I don't care. It, it, I have literally seen, and, and excuse my bluntness or fucking don't, ugly, the ugliest of women being pursued by men. I, it fucking happens, bro. Like, and the average dude sometimes be struggling out here. You feel me? Like, this shit is crazy, bro. Like, So back to the subject at hand. It's exhausting to apply pressure consistently. Month to month basis, day to day, week to week, moment to moment, so forth and so on. I'm going to tell you like this. Me being the person that I am, I don't got the energy to chase no bunch of fit. But I, I can't do it. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't put that much energy into a multitude of different women. I can't. I, I have I have little to no patience for one when it comes to people. So to continually do this and continually be turned down, it's not something that I'm capable of doing. And a lot of dudes that do it and a lot of females that get upset about it when they see it, you know, they be like he he for the streets or he you know he for the community and blah 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 when in all actuality that man has little to no choice but to exhaust 
a multitude of options because of what I just explained, how females tend to run away from dudes because they're so used to a flock of men gravitating toward them. Boom. Now, the whole why it takes them or why men waste women's time once it once they get to a point of finally being accepted by that woman, like, I'm not saying that you can't blame them because it's fucked up regardless of how you look at it. But at the same time, there should be at least a hint of understanding that you decided to take your sweet ass time to give this man the time of day. Once, once the, I don't want to call it infatuation, once What's the word that I'm looking for? Once a man liking you starts to wear off because he's been turned down by you so many different times in so many different ways, it's not going to be the same. He's not going to like you the same simply because you took forever. Now his mind has had a lot of time to think, wonder, if you will. What the fuck she want me for now? That doesn't even make sense though, because I tried, and it took, and that was a long ass time when I first, what she was dealing with. Now, I don't know, man, something about this shit wrong. Now, we have doubt. Bottom line, we have fucking doubt, and, and it was, it was fucking hand delivered to us on a platter because initially, you couldn't see what you either think you see or what you can see now and that's a problem if you decide later on oh oh now now i fuck with you you know what i'm saying that's, that's like anything else it's just like if somebody wanted to be a friend with you and you was like nah i don't know i don't really fuck with your kind and then all of a sudden shift and two months down the line oh you know what i'm saying you know i think i can fuck with you now if somebody did that shit to you, get the fuck out of here. Y'all like, for real, like y'all, nobody thinks about how it would be if they had to be the person in that situation. Y'all just go on about your married fucking lives like it's nothing. And it's and that's, that's the fucking problem. Nobody thinks outside of their genuine or their, their general life. Like that's it. That's all that matters to y'all is, is what you got going right now. And that's fucking stupid. So if somebody was to be interested in me and I'm not interested in them, I'm not going to go back to them later on and hit them with that dumbass fucking middle school line. Oh, you know, I always had a crush. Get the fuck out of here. No, you didn't. No, the fuck you didn't. No, you did not. Stop it. Because when I was interested in you, you was interested in somebody else. And now, all of a sudden, you interested in me. I can't tell y'all <laughs> how many times I've been the nigga in this situation. I don't get it. I don't get why people don't get it. Because then people get an attitude with me. Women get an attitude with me when I turn them down. Oh, but you wanted me for however long. Well, I don't no more. I, because, see, that, that's the, but that's the difference between me and other dudes, though. Because I can't really... I can't vouch for the shit that goes on with them. I'm going to tell you straight how it is. I'm not fucking with you. I'm not going to waste your time. I don't care about your vagina. I don't care about none of that shit. Like, everything that you could possibly offer to me to get me interested, I don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck. Because usually, the shit that's offered is, is minuscule. Like, it's... It's some shit that I don't I don't give a fuck about. <sighs> Y'all gotta take the time to think about your actions before and during the acting. If that makes sense. It's simple to take the time out to try and find something that you like about a person that is in hot pursuit of you. Because later on, if you so decide to be interested in that person and they take you up on that offer, I don't care how you sweeten it, butter it up and make it sound good as to why you didn't decide to, to, to give that person a chance when they wanted to deal with you. I don't give a fuck what you make it sound like. 
at the end of it all, it's it's a very, very good chance that that man is going to waste your fucking time. Odds are he feels like you've wasted his fucking time. And energy. Now, I hope y'all understand. Because once it gets to that point, that's the exact same thing that y'all say have been wasted from y'all. Y'all time and energy. You could have just left me where I was at. Well, technically, he kind of did. Because he couldn't really force you into no shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like... Come on, man. Y'all gotta, gotta think about this shit. It, it, it's common sense, but sense isn't so common. And that's why I'm here to give y'all the common sense perspective of what life in these fucking relationships that y'all get in that be getting fucked up because it was fucked up from Jump Street. The foundation is fucked up straight out the gate. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's it. That motherfucker had liked you for whatever, and then it turned into probably something physical, which the foundation is already fucked up at that point. So now you're dealing with a motherfucker that only is infatuated by what you can offer him physically and all this other shit. And you probably don't even take the time to offer anything mental or emotional. Probably You're probably fucking shallow. I had a multitude of run-ins with very fucking shallow people. Again, I've been in these situations. I've been in this situation before. A couple times. They see me now. Oh, I'm interested in you. No. Fuck out of here with that. So I hope this explanation has helped people understand that it's not just one side's fault. It's both sides. The genders are fucking stupid. If people start taking the time to think about this shit, y'all use your brain for everything else, this is one of those things you can use your fucking brain for. And it's, again, it's fairly fucking simple. If you hard-headed, this probably ain't the shit for you. But I can guarantee you that's exactly what the fuck it is. Just give it a shot. Give it a shot. The next time a dude is interested in you right out the gate, give him a shot. I don't give a fuck who it is that you're in pursuit of. Because nine times out of ten, you've been in pursuit of this person or you've been waiting for that person to be in pursuit of you for X amount of weeks or X amount of months or X amount of years. And they ain't did shit but waste your fucking time. Flirting with you, all kind of other shit, making you feel like maybe there's a possibility that one day they might, you know... Get with you or leave their girlfriend or leave their baby mama or leave their wife. I mean, look. Stop it. Stop it. Think about the fucked up shit that you're dealing with, right? And stop it. Get that man a chance. Because you never fucking know. If you don't like him, cut it the fuck off. It's just that simple. It's really, really fucking simple. Y'all females have gotten completely fucking reckless and you've turned things down before. So... Cut it the fuck off if you don't like it. You can make it very cordial. Look, I, we, you know, we tried it and I don't see it going anywhere from here, blah, blah, blah. Give it whatever explanation that it needs, but be honest about the situation. And move on with your fucking life. Very good chance that if you like that person that likes you, you find something in that person that likes you, that's when it's going to fucking work. I'm Fiesel the Beach. Y'all know what it is. If you do not like it, you can shoot the fucking messenger. Yo, hustle. Yeah. 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 My dude. Eddie J. Hustle. Number. Trapper. Number. That's all we know. Yeah. Number. Hustle. Trapper. Ball is never grind. Yeah. Yeah. 365. Grind. Thugging. No.